welcome to my channel, I'm Pete Morgan, you're watching my bouncing back save with Watford. Fourth season's just coming to an end now, we're playing Man U and then Tottenham today. I've just made a discovery. Remember how through all the episodes I've been commenting on why are the Man City players at different clubs? Well obviously the year I was promoted from the Championship, Man City was relegated to the National League. And somehow I totally missed it. And I haven't even thought, when I've seen all these players somewhere else, I haven't even thought to have a look and see why. And it's only because it's just come up in my news feed that Man City have gained promotion to the Premier. And I thought, oh, weird. I hadn't even noticed they weren't in the Premier. I always thought I was quite an observant type of chap, really, but it tells you everything, I guess. So anyway, that done. We've got Man City next season. So, since you were last with us, you were with us for the Leeds-Blackburn game. OK, 3-1 we beat Leeds and 2-0 we lost to Blackburn. Absolutely disgraceful. We then went to Bournemouth, played Bour beat Bournemouth 3-2. Bit of a mission because Dilat decided to get sent off again. He's done that a few times to me now. Um, we managed to get the winner in the 89th minute when I brought Loser on to replace a very tired uh, Van Meeren. But we got the win. We then played Nottingham Forest and oh my god, we were 3-0 down before you knew it. So I had to wag the finger, chuck the bottle and scream and shout at the boys and we lost 3-1. We've then defended awesomely against West Ham. Okay, we were absolutely fantastic at the back. The goalkeeper at the back four. We didn't, I mean, I shouldn't show you this because it's embarrassing. We didn't really deserve anything from the game, okay? They totally played us out and this one gets even more embarrassing. We've just beaten Everton 2-0. Back four, as you can see, yet again, have really played well. But look at Everton's stats. 25 shots, 7 on target, 2.95. We held them to nothing. They had a goal disallowed. We had a couple of goals disallowed. Uh, one goal disallowed, sorry, and Billingham injured at the end. But that's where we're at. Premier, we're sitting eighth. We can still qualify for Europe. They're just dangling this carrot in front of my nose. We need to win today. So if we beat Man United today, move above them on points, not goal. It doesn't matter about goal difference. And if other results go our way, that means we go move to sixth and we become a European placed side. Not for one minute do I think that's going to happen. So let's just get on with the with the actual matches. So we've got Tarati and Goal, Jellet, De Winter, McGuinness and Decker across the back four with Vermeer and Doyle in the midfield. Doyle's midfield because Casada is picked up an injury, he's not fit. Then we got Gittens, Bellingham and uh, Bjorg in the midfield. Ponce was injured, he's back fit now so he will be figuring for us at some point. He missed a couple of games with the uh, calf strain or something I think it was. And Camelo up front. Camelo's on 23 goals, I was hoping he was going to get to 30 but he's not is he? But it's still a better return I believe than he had last season. So that's it, Man United away. We are going to struggle, let's be honest. Man United are a tad better than us. However, this is Football Manager. We are battling to get our, our form back. And we're playing blooming well, I might add. So obviously when I do a video, we're, we're showing up to be absolutely lacking in everything. We haven't set the world alight, but since the, we got knocked out of the FA Cup, we have been fighting to keep our morale somewhere near sensible and yeah we've completed the boardroom target of a top half finish in the league which we've achieved last year we finished mid table dead on 10th this season we're f we, i think think we can finish as low as ninth but we, we've you know we've done what the board wanted so here we go straight away decker with a throw in down the left wing Bjorg, he's going to be a cracking player trust me he is going to be awesome and camello and camello has scored and we're one nil up at Old Trafford. Wow, wow, wow. He's going to disallow it. I've had so many goals disallowed recently, you wouldn't believe it. He's given it. I'm going to take that. What a fantastic bit of play by Bjorg. Lovely ball into Vermeer, back to Bjorg. Bjorg drives it into Camelo on the volley, left footed volley, tucked it away into the corner. Outstretched keeper, couldn't get near it. Uh, why are we even looking? If you need VAR for that, then you're in the wrong job. Referee and linesman. So, one shot, one goal, one nil. Let's so hope we can keep this going now. 18 minutes gone. Bruno Fernandes headed clear. It's a bit of a scuffle going on in the box there. We really need to keep this. Uh, Ooh, I keep her had more confidence in that than me. I'm not going to say anything. I was going to 
encourage the guys, but we're 1 0 up, so what am I going to encourage them to do? McGuinness out wide to Decker now. Can Decker do something? Vermeer and again to Bellingham. Bellingham caught on the ball. He was a really promising player, and he still is, I guess. But he, um, and there you go, it's one all Rashford. And that came from Bellingham getting caught out quite cheaply on the ball. But since we signed Punts, Bellingham has really not kicked on. Maybe because he's not getting the game time that he was. So maybe he needs to... I don't know what we're going to do there because Punts is, is by far the better player. So I'm not going to drop Punts for Bellingham. But maybe we need to get Bellingham into a different position. Like one of these midfield places or something. But that said, Punts can play... Puns can play out wide as well. Hmm. Maybe we need to try and get them both in the team. I have to have a think on that one for next season. So it's back to one all. 29 minutes gone. We, we can actually not give any instructions. We can actually encourage the team now. And hope that we don't drop. Well, it doesn't matter even if we let a goal in here. Now encourage will work. We are pressing well. But of course Man United can pass the ball around a little bit better than most of our opponents at this level. There's Dallo now with a lovely ball into the box, but it's headed clear. It's coming straight back into Fernandez. Please don't let Fernandez score out. He has. Dear, dear, dear. So, promising start. Reality hits before half time. We're 2 1 down at Old Trafford. It's. It is what it is, you know, it would have been nice to beat Man United and get above them in the league at the end of the season. It's not going to happen, it's... I'm a realist, I guess. I know we're not going to... You never know, it is Football Manager. Weird and wonderful things can happen. Like Man City get relegated to non-league football. Hmm. And I didn't even notice. <laughs> How embarrassing is that? So we're always going to press Bruno Fernandes. I'm going to touch him and he'll be rolling on the floor as though he's been shot. So, um, I am outstretched arm in this, guys. I am happy with their performance so far. It's 2-1 at Old Trafford. We're doing well. We're positive, if you've noticed. We have stepped up from balance to positive. I think we're good enough now to maybe try and ask some questions of the opposition. And just hope we don't throw this away and get a trade in before the Tottenham game. If we beat Tottenham, I think we end up a season above Tottenham, which would be nice. And this is where he Rashford's through again, and that's offside. Can celebrate. Oh, he's not even going to look at that, is he? Now, that to me looked a country mile offside, guys and girls. No point showing a replay because the lines are going to show that he's onside. But to me, he looked a country. Look, he's offside the old way. He was offside. Yeah, we won't do the lines then, because obviously he was offside. So, here we go then. We're 3-1 down. I'm going to have to demand more now. Let's we'll see what's happening here. We're 3-2 down. Camilla has got another goal. So, we leave this as is at the moment. We won't demand more. We're playing positive. We're 3-2 at Old Trafford. We've hit them. And maybe that's the game's way of balancing it up. But... Camilla with a lovely little finish. One, two, bang in. That's 25 now for the season, or 24. Can't remember. My memory's not that great. Short term, anyway. Oh, I'll put lines up for that. But anyway, 2 0. Uh, what game am I talking about? 3 2. We've got two. We're at 65 minutes. I'm going to have to make some substitutions, even though the fitness levels seem to be holding up well today. So, Bellingham's in danger of being booked, so he's coming off. McGuinness is on a yellow card. We're trying to get Torrente in a little bit more. He, he's a quality player. Haven't played him enough maybe this season. So we are going to try and work him into the setup somehow. Why is Mr. Bjorg a bit young? He's a little bit anxious. We're going to try Asprilia from the bench out wide. See what he can do for us. Camelo's on a hat trick. I daren't take him off. Tommy Doyle's shattered. Let's give Mr. Willock a runner. He hasn't played for a while. And that's four. Do I want to make any more changes? Goalie's playing like a Muppet today, but I don't always trust the ratings, guys. I do use them to move players around and take players off, but I don't always trust them. So, Decker to Gittins. Come on, my boy. 
over the top. Camelo didn't even jump a punt size. Punts gets it. No, oh, and they've not hit it back. Good diving header there. Was that my. No, that's not um, Maguire, is it? Because there's Maguire there. And that's over the top. Now we're in trouble. Leonardo's through. This is a worry. We need to get closer. And we didn't. And it's Bamba smashed it straight through the goalie. I'm looking for the hole in his midriff. Because that seemed to go straight through him. Oh dear. And everybody ran to the... Oh, it went in off his chest. Mr. Goalkeeper. That is unlucky, actually. It could have gone anywhere. But it went into the back of the net. So we're going to demand more. It is Man United, so we're not going to do anything stupid. We're going to go attacking. Because in my book, that's what they would not expect us to do at this point in the game. We are going to make one more substitution to try and keep... Vermeer and Spit for the next game. Loser's on his way back from injury. He hasn't played much this season. But that's going to be the game over. Done. Dusted. Finished. We've lost 4-2. Disappointing. Disappointing. We'll see what that means for the league table. Oh, we play Tottenham. Last game of the season. Europe is definitely out of reach now. If we beat Tottenham, we finish our highest ever. Eighth. See you in a moment. Welcome back. Final match day of the season. We are at home against Tottenham. Looking at the league, Newcastle have just won the UEFA Conference League, guys. So I'm guessing they're going to qualify for Europe as a, as winners, which means seventh place could be a European slot. They're dangling the carrot again. If I beat Tottenham and big, big ask, Bournemouth do one on West Ham, we may just get in through the back door. And that's obviously West Ham are going to be fighting the same way. So let's have a look. There isn't going to be any changes to the team. I don't think. I don't think anybody's fit. It's been out injured. That's a lie. Casado is back, and so is Punts. So Punts is going to replace Bellingham. Casidi is going to replace. Where are you, Doyle? Yeah, that's correct. And the rest of the team look good. Tarati and Goal. Jalot, De Vinter, McGuinness, and Decker across the back four. Vermeer and Casidi in the midfield. Attacking midfielders of. Gittens, Puntz and Bjorg. I'm going to stick with Bjorg even though there's a couple of other players fit. And also Ponce, Puntz can play left. Gittens can play right. Oh, I'm really tempted. I'm going to do this, you know. I just want to see last game of the season what they play like together. Bellingham, Puntz and Gittens in the same team. Let's have a look. So that's a team with Camelo up front. Camelo is now on 25 goals. I think he needs one more goal to get 20 in the league. We will see. But that's a team. We're not making any more changes. We're at home against Tottenham. Final game of the season. Board have agreed to expand the stadium, which would be good. They've been looking at it all year. I've just forgotten to mention that. And here we go. We're not going to daft about too much. We're getting straight in. And we're going to kick some butt. Full house. Looks like a full house. Probably is a full house. So here we go. We, we need to be strong. We need to play as well as we can. We need to defend exceptionally well. I thought we could have defended a bit better against the Manx, but um, in fairness, we're not on the same playing field as them, in all honesty. You know, we are in amongst the rest, but we're nowhere even near the best of the rest yet. So De Vinter out wide to Gittins. Gittins gives it away cheaply to Son, who plays a careless ball forward, and I thought we were going to get caught on there. Cassidy plays a lovely ball out now. Gittins running in behind. Gittins cross field to Camelo. Camelo in again to Gittins, who's running behind the back four, and we're 1-0 up! That could be a European spot. I haven't seen anything official to tell me that. But as I didn't notice, Man City had been relegated from the Premier to the... Oh. As I didn't notice, Man City had been relegated from the Premier to non-league and started to save. I'm not surprised I've possibly missed something like the European spot goes to the league. It, it happens. But West Ham have matched our score anyway, so whatever we do here is, is not really going to make any difference unless Bournemouth suddenly show a bit of backbone against West Ham, which they haven't shown against anybody other than us all season and get a result oh and that was loose again we can't be making these mistakes when we're on the attack and someone has picked it up and he's played it out to Udogi, now we're in trouble and it's someone's made the run off the back of us and a keeper fumbled it what?
Why am I blessed with keepers that do this to me? He's been, I wouldn't say rock solid, but he's been sound ever since January. He's been in teams of the week. He's been that good. And even with that mistake, he's on a 6.8. Doesn't matter, we just need to match Tottenham to finish above them, I guess. Europe, Europe would have been a nice sidetrack next season, but it's just something else to destroy our morale, isn't it? What was I going to do? Yeah, I'm going to do that one, but let's see what happens. Right, I'm going to encourage guys to start in the second half. I'm happy with the draw because that keeps us above Tottenham in the league. As you can see, Tottenham are putting us to the sword a little bit here we're playing positive we maybe should have dropped a balance at half time just to wait so let's go silly and go attacking let's see if we can get this oh Bournemouth have pulled a goal back so now a goal is all important and Cassidy really wants it but it's Son again who's picked it up he's kicked it upfield for nothing again Jellert's picked it up into De Vinter, back to Jellert, who's given it away, but Casadai has battled back while there and, and took the ball off Son's foot. And we build again, we go again from the back. Vermeeren, McGuinness, he's not very comfortable with the ball at his feet, is he, Vermeeren? Which I'm quite surprised at as he's a quality midfielder. Casadai forward to Camelo, back to Casadai, over the top, looking for Punts, but Punts went the wrong way, didn't read the flight of the ball. And that's a bad, bad pass, and we're there! We're 2 1 up. Now, there's a nice turnout for the books, isn't it? Another team making a stupid mistake that we capitalise on. And as you can see, the fans are ecstatic. I need to see the league table. Does this put us above West Ham? And I'm not going to do anything to try and get a table up. If it comes up, it comes up. If it doesn't, it'll be a nice little surprise at the end or disappointment at the end. Let's keep it going. Bournemouth are still one all with West Ham. I can't remember whether they were a point ahead of us or two points ahead of us or even and there you go we're up to seventh we're above West Ham oh my god wouldn't that be sweet Bournemouth have now gone 2-1 up against West Ham we cannot afford to let this in guys we need to be rock solid I'm a ten um, oh. as you can see the cursor is here ready I was going to go back to positive I'm hoping the referee's going to say hang on a minute you were offside son and he has. So, I'm taking that as a bonus. I am going back to positive, which I plan to do anyway. Oh, my. Take your pick, referee. We're 78 minutes. I've completely forgotten to do my substitutes. I'm that enwrapped in the game. We're going to bring loser on for... The, no, we're not. Wrong word. Doyle on there. Loser on for Kasaide, who's struggling. Decker is struggling. That's going to be Torrente. I'm going to bring Mr. Punts off and bring Mr. U uh, Asprilla on. This is your chance. Camelo's got his goal. He's not coming on. I'm going to bring Bjork on for Gittens. Give Gittens a rest. So that's it. That's substitutions. Five made. We're 2-1 up. Ten minutes to go. A win is a win is a win. I could be getting all excited for nothing. Because I really don't remember seeing that the last European spot goes to the league. I've just made that up when I seen that Newcastle had won the competition. And that's a worry, that's 2-2, two, two, so it's good, it could be irrelevant anyway. So let's go back to attacking. Sorry to mess you about, guys. I pressed that again, which I didn't want to. I want to do that one. I want to encourage the entire team. Come on, guys. Ah, we've dropped back behind West Ham. So it's irrelevant now whether we... Oh, that carrot, I can smell it. It is right in front of my nose. I can taste it almost. Oh, just not to be, is it? So that's it. Not a bad season, guys. We finished eighth. I mean, come on. If I'd have told you at the start of the season I was going to finish eighth place this season, you'd have said, no way. Not with the team and the performance we put last year. Although we put a good run together at the start of last season, we were woeful the rest of the season. So we finished on 58 points, the same as West Ham. So I guess from that, technically, could I class myself as best of the rest? Among best of the rest? Because I'm guessing this is the elite here, and this is the best of the rest. Hmm. 
if it comes up that we are best of the rest, that is goal achieved for this save. We're not going to end it because there's no point starting a new save now, just a matter of weeks away from the release of uh, 24. Plus, I'm in hospital in a couple of days for a full right knee replacement, but it does mean we can wrap the save up at any point and say we achieve the best of the rest. It would have been nice to win a league or win a cup or anything, really. We will just play this out and see it's not going to because they'd have said it straight away wouldn't they why did i attend a meeting i don't want to do the meeting for you guys but have a look at club vision go to premier for uh, yeah yeah i'll go no i've got to do the meeting that's it then guys we're going to come back from the start of next season anyway so so the next episode will be season review and transfer special ready to kick off a new season hope you've enjoyed it if you have don't forget to leave us a like don't forget to hit the subscription button have a great I don't know what day this could be Thursday's or Friday's episode. I've, I've lost count. Take care, because I'm only on Monday and I've got hospital on Saturday. Anyway, I'm waffling. Take care. We'll see you next time. Have a good weekend.